Wake up this morning. Make the mistake of turning on the TV. Nothing but bad news. Empty ever news rolling on the screen. Oh, walk to the kitchen. I make myself a, a cup of coffee. Wave at the old man, get in a sun tan on his balcony. Oh, this is so early to have nine o'clock meeting. It's not like I can't get up. It's just I don't have enough time to have breakfast. Good morning, Ziyang, Maddie. Uh, so who else am I missing? Ariane uh, and. It's an hour later, and I am going to prepare for my next meeting at 11 o'clock. This day is usually packed with meetings. I don't know why. Maybe it's nearly the end of the week, and then it's time to discuss the coming week. I need to have my breakfast, and then get changed, do my makeup, and get ready to get out in 30 minutes because I need to go to uni for this. The coming meeting. Would you like to have your meetings online or in person? I feel like sometimes having meetings online would be very efficient because we don't have much small talk. We just like go straight to the point, finish everything. But meeting on Zoom also, you don't have much opportunity to socialize with people. That is the reason why I am going to campus and meet in person. So yeah. Tuscany, Italy, riding on a Vespa in a sunflower field. Okay, this is outfit of today. So today is wear purple day, and this is the only purple shirt that I got. And then, because now we're still in winter, even though it's end of the winter, outside is still quite cold. I wanted to wear something that is purple, but then this one is also a bit too cold, so that's why I layer it. Now it somehow it looks very Y2K. Of course, I will get my jacket. I got a unique email the day before, reminding us to wear purple and show support to the LGBTQIA community. I found this idea very cute, wearing the same color to encourage diversity and to remind people that they should be proud of who they are. As I finish my meetings, I randomly walk around the building. It's because my brain was packed with information and I thought I wanted to have a break before I move on to do other work. Do you guys want to say hi? <laughs> I got a blueberry muffin and that was my lunch. I didn't want to get anything heavy because I will have a dinner with friends later. And then I found a cozy spot to relax and also work on my research stuff. Lately, I find it so hard to balance everything. Although I became more experienced in teaching and I didn't have to spend too much time on class preparation, my second year PhD stress definitely built up. Two hours later, as I was getting starving, I found myself couldn't concentrate anymore, so I decided to leave. Here is a lesson, don't skip lunch if you want to boost productivity. So I ended up coming to another building across the street because I was bored and wanted to see my friend and perhaps work together. Your pants are like, oh yeah, that's it. Oh, there is another camera here. Oh. <laughs> My friend brought chocolates to me and I felt my energy back. I chatted with her for a bit and then waiting for her to finish work while doing some video editing. When the building became empty and my friends finished their work already, it's dinner time. Although I didn't finish my editing, I couldn't wait to get some food to eat. Breakfast. We went to a Thai barbecue place, and that was how we ended the day with food and music. That's pretty much for today, and I hope you can find some joy in everyday life no matter how busy you are. Just like me, even though I was overwhelmed by work, my heart was filled with joy because of food, friends, and a random busker singing on the street. Hope you enjoyed today's video. See you next time. Bye!
Pagi dan semua 